Good morning. Um, we're Alan Botula, Lauren Gaffney Cohen, Chuck Dow, and Ken Signorello, the uh, Essex Conservation and Trails Committee. We also have here Chuck Vile, who's our town forester, and Darren Schibler, who is uh, one of our town planners. So we're here today to celebrate Arbor Day by planting this beautiful crabapple tree at Founders School. As you can see all over town, these crabapple trees have beautiful white blossoms in the summer. And they're not just pretty to look at, but the fruit that grows on these trees will stay there all winter long. And that makes important spring food for birds like cedar waxwings. <clears throat> so we really hope that this tree will be good for you and wonderful for all the students who come after you. And we hope very much that you enjoy it. We have a lot of people to thank. Horsford Nursery down in Charlotte gave us this tree to help celebrate Arbor Day, so thank you for them. Heritage Tree Service did all this work, digging the hole, planting the tree, and making sure it was done right. And they did that for free for us, so that was also wonderful. I also want to thank Darren, who works for the town, because he did a lot of the logistics and arranging and helping making this happen. And then finally, your principal, Sarah, and Tiffany Gershon really enthusiastically supported this project, so thanks to them too. So Arbor Day is not just celebrated in America, it's actually celebrated all over the world. And it's celebrated because people love trees and they recognize that trees are important. They give us shade, they give us great things like wood that we use. Um, and also, if you've ever been out in the woods, you might have noticed how trees make you feel. They make you feel good. So that's important too. So let's be like the Lorax. You remember the Lorax? He said, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees, as the trees have no tongues. So it's up to all of us, and to you, and the children who come after you, when you grow up to be adults, to care about trees. Because as the Lorax said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. I'm going to give this over to Darren so he can read the proclamation. Thank you, Alan, and thank you for all your help in organizing uh -huh. this. All right, so, whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees, and whereas this holiday, called Arbor Day, was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska, and whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world, and whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, reduce heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life-giving oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife, and whereas trees in our town increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of businesses, and beautify our community, and whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal, now therefore, we hereby proclaim Friday, May 6th, 2022 as Arbor Day in the town of Essex and encourage all community members to celebrate and protect our trees and woodlands. Thank you. And I'll hand it over to your principal, Sarah. Okay. They know me as Mrs. Jablonski. <laughs> All right, thank you, that was so official. All right, I wanted to thank the town of Essex, the Essex Conservation and Trails Committee, the Vermont Urban and Community Forestry Program for providing us with this beautiful tree. Uh, and thank you to Horsford Nursery and Heritage Tree Service. There were so many people that helped with this. Uh, we are so thrilled to add this beautiful tree to our school grounds and would like to dedicate it to all of the students at Founders because you are what make our school so special and important. This is a symbol of all of you. And so as you get bigger and move on to middle school and high school and then you're all grown up, I hope you drive past Founders and you visit this tree and you remember how small it looks right now and then when you're a grown up, how big it will be. And so we are really hopeful that this is the place you lay down strong roots and grow up to be incredible 
citizens and parts of our community. So I dedicate it to all of you and all of your classmates. So Are the crab apples edible? Ah, uh, <laughs> they're a bit sour. Uh, but they won't make you sick, right? No, they won't make you know, just in moderation. <laughs> <laughs> Good jam.